right there. Can you suggest anything for the end of the night? Something big, something bold. May I suggest the Benelli M4. All right, guys, everybody loves Benelli M4, 18 inch barrel, uh, five in one. Uh, it's got three inch chamber, so you can take just about every kind of ammo that's out there. Ghost rear sight, great stuff. Gas assisted inertia operating system. Basically, it's got two pistons right here, right? Uh, awesome, everybody loves the Benelli. Um, the patents on Benelli ran out uh, a while back and Turkey, immediately started cloning them and just flooding the market with them. Uh, there's a bunch of a uh, bunch of different importers. Uh, this one is in a Benelli, all right? Um, this has actually been imported by G-Force Arms. This is the SAX2T clone of the Benelli M4. This is the real Benelli right here, guys. I'll put my little Benelli plastic uh, label back on it. This is the real Benelli, fresh out of the box. Not a single round through it. And we're going to put it up against the clone imported uh, from Turkey by G-Force Arms. Guys, if you look at them, uh, literally, uh, it's hard to tell them apart. The cool part is you can interchange a lot of these parts. You can, uh, more than just a plastic sticker, but you can actually uh, toss the, uh, the bolt and uh, handle barrels, swap them all back and forth. Is the Benelli an awesome shotgun, right? It is, it's in the John Wick movie, right? Benelli straight out of box. I mean, it's not exactly competition or let's say Terran tactical ready. There's a lot of work that they have to do to these things. Um, the real to make this thing so it'll run combat wise slash uh, three gun match wise. What I mean by that is um, the loading port on the bottom of it. If you were to just roll that gun over, you cannot just grab four rounds and index them in. The loading port needs to be milled out a little bit. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, uh, this is my competition Versamax made by Remington. And again, it's got your enlarged uh, bolt carry release button. It's got all the other things. But uh, even from the factory, this is, and again, this is a competition model. I still had to mill out, uh, I still had to mill out the operating system here. So uh, the loading port has to be milled out some so that you can just index those shells up into the gun very, very easy. Load four like that, grab four more. So in other words, you're just rotating the gun over, load. Uh, and I just, I just stuck eight rounds in the gun that quick. Awesome, All right? Make sure she's unsafe. Um, you can't do that with Benelli straight out of the box. You can't, you, you definitely cannot do it with the, um, the G-Force Arms import. Now, one thing I will say is initial impression of this thing. Um, yeah, it, the, the bolt carrier release button, it's got some sharp edges on it. Uh, end, of, uh, end of story, no, there's, uh, there's little things, little issues with it, but uh, all in all, especially when you talk about that you can interchange parts with this thing, um, what do you say we take this puppy out and uh, let's run through it? Let's run through this thing. All right, first few rounds. Five plus one, I really miss my extended tube on this thing.
GeForce Turkish clone, but it's got the whole Benelli uh, upper receiver group in it, basically barrel, pistons, everything. And uh, I'm not sure how it's gonna run. So uh, what do you say we, we say we give it a try. It ran. Not sure why that one stuck. But we're gonna try that one more. Hmm. Might have been a bad round. All right, we are gonna take the bolt carrier group out of the G-Force clone, and we're gonna put the actual Benelli bolt carrier into my Turkish copy. Gonna put in my handle. I use the clone handle on this one. All right, we'll go back to my G-Force barrel. Kind of expected it to run better with the Benelli bolt in it. Uh, reality is, it ran better with the Turkish bolt in it. Okay, we're gonna put the old bolt back in. All right, the G Force clone runs off the same piston system that the Benelli M4 does. It's a very robust design. Uh, you've got two separate pistons here. If you're gonna inspect, your gun, what you're looking is for pinging on the ends of your pistons here, but also on the front of that bolt carrier also. If I was to let that bolt carrier go forward, right at the base of that bolt carrier, you'll see where the pistons hit the bottom of that bolt carrier. And um, that, that's what you're looking for. We're at, uh, we just came up on the 500 round mark, so I was expecting to see, right, if it's cheap, maybe get some chips and stuff. Nah, she's running like a champ so far. Running like a Benelli. Let's hit that plate out there. All right, I want to thank Sportsman's Guide for hooking me up with a ton of ammo, right, including this Chris Kyle buckshot. All right, to honor the late uh, American sniper Chris Kyle. Good stuff. We have had, so far, we're a little over 500 rounds in. Uh, we've had one failure to extract, two failure to feeds. But two of those were with the Benelli uh, bolt in the gun. So. Runs like a champ. <sighs> All, right. All right, we're gonna actually shoot uh, some of the rounds through the Benelli. Let's shoot some more. All right, guys, the Benelli M4 clone imported from Turkey by G4 Systems. Uh, I want to thank Sportsman's Guide for hooking me up with this thing. It is, uh, it's a decent shotgun. Is it a Benelli? 
Uh, it, no, it's not. But a Benelli's two thousand dollars. This thing is uh, four hundred dollars, right? And uh, I, I understand quality control varies by lot to lot. Uh, but this particular gun that I got put in my hands is a good shotgun. And uh, I, you've seen all the shotgun shells. We've ran a ton through this thing. Um, cool, decent. And uh, if you're on a budget, this is a good choice right here. Right, so again, the G-Force Arms import from Turkey, uh, you can get them at sportsmansguide.com. Leave all your questions and comments below. You know I read them all. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything.